Arian Foster review. We're here. 88 speed, 89 Excel, 6'1", 227. Team of the week. Arian Foster. Who's better, him, Gurley, Zeke? We're going to break it down. Now, when you look at him, his juke is going to be something you're going to rely on. And it's going to be something that is going to be effective. I was not a big fan of his spin at all. As with some of the abilities here and X factors, you're going to see some good ones. He, he does get two slots for abilities. And I can tell you there's definitely running back to better abilities. I like uh, Zeke's abilities a little better. And him and Gurley are almost about the same abilities. So, we're going to get into the field. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a Texans or a Dolphins team team, this is going to be a must keep. Because right now, the running backs for those team teams are going to be pretty scarce. But with Arian Foster here, Quite a surprise. We didn't think he was going to be getting this car in Team of the Week, but we did. So we got to break him down. And Arian Foster, his carry's an A, guys. He did not fumble. And I probably played the most games with him. Oh my God, I played so many games with him. He didn't fumble the whole time. So if you need somebody in the third, fourth quarter holding on the ball, give it to Foster. He will not put it on the ground. And I'm going to tell you. Right there, he's going to fight. His moves are a B. Like I said, Juke is what we rely on. His stiff arm was unreliable. His trucking was unreliable. His spin was unreliable. So he's going to be a straight line speed guy that can truck sometimes and Juke all the time. So if that's the kind of running back you're looking for, this will be your guy. But he is going to be limited with his moves. So, up next, we have catching. I did not have him drop any open balls. I didn't have any issue with that. I didn't have, as he there, he sees he catches a touchdown. So if you want to throw it to him wide open, that's fine. Just don't throw in traffic, obviously. He is going to be reliable for that. So I do run a lot of running back dump offs, so that does fit my team. Break tackles a B. I wish he broke a little more than he did. To my memory, uh, Gurley broke more. But maybe if he's on a thing team with all his other boosts, if I don't have Foster, maybe he'll break a little better. But for me, he did not. But he does have the speed to take it for a home run. Out of the park. Ball forward's an A minus. See, he runs him over. He falls forward. He's not going to be a small guy that does these hits and falls backwards a lot. He is going to fight for you, which is good to know. So, yeah, it is going to be quite the running back. Before his price right now, uh, it's a little steeper than a girly card. If you're on a super budget, I'd have to say go with girly. B plus overall. Not super excited about this card's uh, performance. Uh, Barry is still king, of course. Where would I put him? I put him in the same category as girly Zeke but man it's it's kind of tough to say which quarter, running back would you one out of those help someone for no reason that is the message spread the kindness and um, yeah guys we're gonna break him down a little farther here for his price and abilities Arian Foster has one plus speed over Ezekiel Elliott and has better change of direction. I will tell you my personal experience, I enjoy Zeke better. I did. Um, there's gonna be some people who say, well, Foster ran better for me. Maybe it's cause you have my team team or something, but I do like Elliot a little better and I do like Gurley a little bit better. So that's just my experience, guys. I wish this card did play a little bit better than it did. But it doesn't mean he's not usable. He is. If you power him up and put a sprinter on him, that's 91 speed. If you have a theme team, that's 92 speed. That's elite. 
So there is definitely a way to make him way better. But for using just the base card, I was not really impressed. Him versus Gurley. Save your coins, get Gurley. That's what I would do. Uh, Gurley is. That had better animations for me. Uh, broke more tackles for me. And Truck barely better than me. Um, you see, Foster has better change of direction. I didn't really notice it too much. Uh, Gurley kind of cuts the same way as he did for me. But, guys, what review do you want to see next? If you have any questions about Gurley or Zeke, really, to break them down farther for you, the, the reviews are on my channel. I would suggest you go there and watch them for sure. Uh, him versus Bettis. Bettis is just slower and more power. So, none are not really comparable. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know what you want to see next. And I will catch you in the next one. My Twitter and Twitch links are down below. And I will see you over there.